Welcome to Fundamental Instructor Knowledge. This is the first module on how springs work. I'm really excited to share this with you because this understanding, you won't find it in normal textbooks, you won't find it in normal courses. This is something that which is commonly um, misunderstood or maybe people have never even heard of it before or heard it articulated like this before. But when you understand this, it will make training with reformers a lot easier. So basically how the springs work is they gradually increase in resistance as you stretch the spring and they decrease in resistance as the spring comes back. Now, this graph here is showing you that you've got the spring stretch and the load. So as the spring stretches, the total amount of resistance increases. And at the very end, you've got the maximum spring stretch. Now the maximum spring stretch means when the carriage gets all the way to the end of the reformer. So with your springs, here I've got balanced body springs. The yellow spring is worth nine kilograms of resistance at maximum spring stretch, which is approximately 20 pounds. And these are all approximate based on the website of balanced body. Um, and I've organized them here in a way that would make sense for you, even if you weren't using a balanced body reformer, because most reformers are going to have five to six springs. They're going to have about three different levels of resistance. They're going to have a spring which is the lightest, a mid-range resistance, and a heavy spring. So for the purposes of this uh, online course, please use the yellow, the blue, and the red as your light, medium, and heavy. And if you have a heavier spring, we can just classify that as another heavy as well. So for the blue, we've got 13 kilos of resistance at full spring stretch, or 30 pounds approximately. And for the red, 21 and 45 pounds approximately. Now, what this means is if you add up all the springs, if you put all the springs on, it's going to be around 90 kilograms or around 200 pounds of resistance. Now, this also means that it will basically be nothing at the start and then gradually increase. Now the main difference here is if you're going to do double leg footwork with all the springs on and your feet on the foot bar, as you push the carriage out, the tension scales and it gets harder. Basically you get more resistance as you push. Now if you compare that to doing a leg press at the gym, if you've got a leg press at the gym, you've got the consistent resistance from the start. So if you're working with all the springs, so around 90 kilograms or 200 pounds, you'd have to push that from the very start. So that line would look like this. It wouldn't be increasing or decreasing, it would be staying the same. So the difference with using springs is, you basically start with no resistance and then it increases as we stretch. And understanding that is gonna be really, really powerful because that means we can intentionally change body position to change spring stretch as a progression strategy, which you'll see a little bit further along in the course. So just to recap, basically springs gradually increase and decrease in resistance. Uh, when we understand that spring tension is actually very objective and measurable, it makes it easier for us as instructors to challenge people more. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to reorganize this spring tension into a gradient so it's very easy to scale up and down in resistance.